This is a programming and maintenance guide for the TH232 thermostat. Before we start, you should know that this thermostat can be mounted horizontally or vertically. To change the position to suit your home or office, undo the screw at the base of the unit by turning it anti-clockwise with a Phillips screwdriver. Lift up the faceplate from the bottom first. Undo the two screws which secure the base. Lift out the unit and rotate it to suit. Place it back into the base and fasten the screws into the holes provided. Replace the unit top first back onto the base and fasten the screw at the base of the unit by turning it clockwise. Now let's run through what the symbols represent on the display screen. This is the clock which will show the current time in either 12 or 24 hour format. The current day is displayed underneath. Changing the clock to 12 or 24 hour format is explained later in the video. This will display the current floor temperature, which can be displayed in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. Changing the temperature format is explained later in the video. When this arrow is displayed, it means you are currently choosing your target floor temperature. The clock symbol will be displayed when the unit is operating in automatic mode, following its set schedule. The hand symbol will be displayed when the unit is operating in manual mode, following the temperatures you have selected. The sun or moon symbol will be displayed depending on whether the unit is operating in its comfort or economy setting. When the sun symbol is displayed, the unit is in comfort mode, which means the floor will stay at your chosen temperature all the time. When the moon symbol is displayed, the unit is in economy mode. Economy mode means that your floor heating will only turn on if the temperature drops below your chosen minimum temperature. The heating symbol will be displayed when the floor heating elements are operating. The power symbol will be displayed when the unit is on. When the A, F or AF symbols are shown, it means the unit is either operating from the air temperature, the floor temperature or both the air and floor temperatures together. The house symbols will be displayed depending on which timer setting is currently active in your daily schedule. We'll run through this option later in the video. First, we'll learn how to set the time, day and your chosen temperatures. Setting the time and day. To set the time, open the left side button cover and press the hour button until it reaches the current hour. Next, press the minute button until it reaches the current time in minutes. You can also hold the button down to reach your time more quickly. To set the day, simply press the day button until you have reached the current day. When you have the correct time and day, press the mode return button. Setting the default floor temperatures. Now we will set the comfort and economy temperatures that your unit will automatically use. To set your desired comfort temperature, open the right side button panel and press the up or down buttons until you have reached your chosen comfort temperature. In this case, 26 degrees. Then, press and hold the sun button for 3 seconds. When the sun symbol appears on the screen, your comfort temperature has been set. To set your desired economy temperature, follow the same procedure. Use the up or down buttons until you have reached your chosen economy temperature. In this case, 15 degrees. Then, press and hold the moon button for 3 seconds. When the moon symbol appears on the screen, your economy temperature has been set. To change between comfort and economy mode at any time, press the sun or the moon button. Setting the 7 day schedule. The thermostat has 4 activation times represented by symbols on the screen. Symbol 1 is the wake up time, which warms the floors up to your comfort temperature. Symbol 2 is the leaving home time, which cools the floors down to your economy temperature. Symbol 3 is the coming home time, which again warms the floors to your comfort temperature. And symbol 4 is the sleep time, which cools the floors to your economy temperature through the night. To set the 7 day schedule, press program, which will allow us to choose our Monday switch on time. In this case, we'll choose 6.30 a.m. Next, press Program. Now we can choose our Monday leaving home time when the unit will return to its economy temperatures. In this case, we'll choose 8.15 a.m. Press Program again. Now we can choose our Monday coming home time for the floors to warm to their comfort temperatures. In this case, we'll choose 4.30 p.m. Press Program once more. 
Now we can choose our Monday sleep time for the floors to cool to their economy temperatures overnight. In this case, we'll choose 10 p.m. You have now set the scheduled temperatures for Monday. Press the day button to move on to the next day or the program button to start at the beginning. To save filling out switch on and switch off times for every day of the week, you can enter the times once and apply them across the entire week. To do this, make sure you're in programming mode by pressing the program button. Then press and hold the day button for three seconds. All of the days of the week will show. Now you can simply enter one switch on time for each of the four daily switch on and switch off times. When complete, press mode return to exit. Your week's temperatures have now been set. You can also fine tune times and even remove sections on individual days. For example, let's turn off the leaving home and returning home times on Sunday. To do this, press program to enter the schedule settings, then the day button until you have reached Sunday. Press program until symbol 2 appears, which is your leaving home time. And instead of entering a time, press the clear button. The thermostat will display a blank time. Next, press program to reach symbol 3, which is your returning home time. And again, press clear. Then press mode return to finish. Now on Sunday, the thermostat will remain in comfort mode from morning till night. Switching between manual and automatic mode. To switch between manual and automatic mode, press the mode return button. If the clock symbol is displayed, it means the unit is operating in its automatic schedule, which we programmed a moment ago. If the hand symbol is displayed, it means it's operating in manual mode. In manual mode, either comfort mode or economy will be displayed on the screen. To choose comfort mode, press the sun button. And to choose economy mode, press the moon button. As mentioned, just press the mode return button to change back into automatic mode. Temporarily overriding the automatic schedule. Even if you have a preset schedule in operation, you can easily bring the floor temperature up or down without reprogramming. Simply use the up or down arrows at any given moment to change the floor temperature. The unit will reach your new chosen temperature and stay there until the next scheduled event takes place. When the unit is temporarily overriding the schedule, the clock symbol will flash. To cancel this override early, press the Mode Return button. Now we'll move on to customizing your unit's parameters. Changing between Celsius and Fahrenheit. By default, the unit uses Celsius for temperatures. To change this to Fahrenheit, press and hold the program button for 3 seconds. The Celsius symbol will be displayed. Use the up or down buttons to choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit, then press Mode Return to save your selection and exit. Changing between 12 and 24 hour format. By default, the unit uses 24 hour format. To change this to 12 hour format, press and hold the program button for 3 seconds. Then press the program button once more briefly. Use the up or down buttons to choose between 12 and 24 hour format. Then press mode return to save your selection and exit. Activating early start mode. When operating on its automatic schedule, the thermostat has the option of turning on earlier to ensure your floors are warm by the time you get out of bed or return home. The unit learns from the previous day how soon it needs to switch on to ensure the floors reach their ideal temperature on time. To turn on early start mode, press and hold the program button for 3 seconds. Then press the program button twice, briefly. ES or early start will appear on the display, which is turned off by default. To turn it on, use the up or down button until ES on is displayed. Then press the mode return button to save your selection and exit. Changing the thermometer mode. The thermostat can use either its floor temperature sensor, its built-in air temperature sensor, or a combination of the two. By default, the unit uses its floor sensor. To change this, however, press and hold the clear button for three seconds. Control F will show. This means the unit will use its floor-mounted temperature sensor. 
press the up or down arrow to select a different sensor. When Control A is shown, it means the unit will use its built-in air temperature sensor. And when Control A F is shown, it means the unit will use a combination of both sensors. When you have made your selection, press the Mode Return button. For accurate floor temperatures, however, we recommend leaving it set on Control F. If you have any questions, please give us a call on 0508 Heatwell or heatwell.co.nz.